me. And they believe that this administration can undertake the most extensive transformation in our nation's history. Recent events that necessitated the withdrawal of the finance bill, which will require a review and reorganization of our budget and fiscal management, have brought us to an inflection point. Upon reflection, listening keenly to what the people of Kenya have said, and after a holistic appraisal of the performance of my cabinet and its achievements and challenges, I have today, in line with the powers given to me by Article 1521 and 1525B of the Constitution and Sections 130, Sections 12 of the Office of the Attorney General's Act, decided to dismiss with immediate effect all the cabinet secretaries and attorney general of the Republic of Kenya, of the cabinet of Kenya, except the prime cabinet secretary and cabinet secretary for secretary uh, and secretary for and cabinet secretary for foreign affairs and diaspora affairs. And of course, the office of the deputy president is not affected in any way. I will immediately engage in extensive consultations across different sectors and political formations and other Kenyans, both in public and private, with the aim of setting up a broad-based government that will assist me in accelerating and expediting the necessary, urgent, and irreversible implementation of the program that we have, including other radical measures and programs to deal with the burden of debt, to explore raising domestic resources and revenues, expanding job opportunities, eliminating wastage and unnecessary duplication over multiplicity of government agencies, and slaying the dragon of corruption, consequently making the government of Kenya lean, inexpensive, effective, and efficient. During this process, the operations of government will continue uninterrupted under the guidance of principal secretaries and other relevant officials. I will be announcing additional measures and steps in due course. Thank you very much, and God bless our great country, Kenya. Asante